more work on the pile. <clears throat> I'm getting the perform service and check engine light intermittently for crankcase pressure. So I've already deleted this. This tube comes off my crankcase ventilation filter. It just goes down here to atmosphere. And this is where it used to go, is into the turbo. I blocked that off. So we got a new CCV filter right here, which we're gonna do the delete on. Um, surprisingly, this was very easy. Flat tip screwdriver, just kind of worked it around. This popped off. And then literally, same thing, screwdriver in here, a little bit of pressure, worked it, boom, and these just popped off. So what happens is these get plugged up. It's like an oil vapor separator. It's designed to trap the oil and let it drain back in and the vapors pass through, but eventually they get clogged. Um, you can't just take the filter out and delete it that way because you guys are going to see here when we get into it. Your upper valve cover, this right here, does not actually seal up to the lower valve cover. It seals to the top of that filter. The bottom of that filter seals to the lower valve cover. You guys are going to see all that here in a few minutes. Anyway, here's the delete. We're going to put this, snap this back on and we're going to install it without any of the filter media so it will never plug again and we're just going to let it be vented to atmosphere that's how military vehicles are big extra large construction equipment everything is like that and after 10,000 hours of runtime you may have one droplet that's kind of smeared around on the very bottom of your hose so it's not like it's going to be hemorrhaging oil or anything anyway let's get into it show you guys how it's done Four eight millimeter bolts, pull your dipstick out, this cover comes off. Eight more eight millimeter bolts. It's gonna take this upper valve cover off the lower valve cover. Once you've gotten all your bolts out, you're gonna take your oil fill cap off. This will lift off of here. And we should be staring at our filter. And there it is. So it doesn't actually seal on these two halves, it seals through these O-rings. Which is why if you just take this filter out, delete it, and vent it to atmosphere, you're going to have an oil leak on the top of the valve cover because these O-rings is designed for that vapor to pass through here and go through the filter media and drain back into the crankcase. Alright, little screwdriver up here on the edge, just boop, and it's, that's it. Came right out. We are, like I said, mine's already deleted. You guys see how nasty that is in there. Mine's already deleted, but by the time I deleted it, this had plugged so much that it's causing high crankcase pressures. So we're gonna put the new one in and get this buttoned up right away. And then we're gonna yard that old one apart and just see just how nasty it really is. The only one of these bolts you really have to pay attention to is this one here, because it's a stud. It's got a little spot for your harness over there to clip onto it. Well, here it is all buttoned up. It's like a 15 minute filter change plus five minutes to do the delete. Let's get into the old one, see what's going on with that. Well, there it is. These are very heavy compared to these. Completely saturated. I mean, you can't even, I mean, they're just so full. They're just caked, completely caked full. But now that we don't have the media in there anymore, we won't have to worry about it ever again. Well, that's it, guys close this one out that's all it is to do a CCV filter delete you're looking at about a 20 to 25 minutes start to finish deal